Hello friends, welcome to Simply Quilty and today I would like to share this cute little boot block with you that I've been experimenting with. Uh, my friend gave me a pattern which I misplaced but I remembered enough to uh, experiment a little bit and I've sort of simplified it down. This boot only has four main parts to it and then some little snowball corners and things like that. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. Let's get started. Now today I will be showing you how I made the 12 inch block, but I will also have uh, cutting instructions for both sizes, 10 and 12, in the uh, description box below. So for your upper boot, you're gonna need a rectangle that's four and a half by seven and a half in a print. And for the background, you'll need the same size rectangle in a light color. And for the lower part of your block, you will need a three by six inch rectangle in color or print. And for the heel, you will need a three inch square in a dark color. I used some little two inch squares for my snowballed corners. Uh, two from the same fabric that you made the lower boot out of and five from your background fabric. I like to press mine from corner to corner. You can also uh, draw a line from corner to corner. That works as well. I've pinned on all of my little corners. Now I will chain stitch all of those at the same time. And then I'll just clip those extra little wings off of the um, back side of those little triangles.
Next, I'll just give those corners another little press, and then I'll sew my units together. And of course, I'll use a quarter inch seam allowance. I do love when my block starts coming together and actually looking like something that I could recognize. Now to press it out, get it nice and flat, and there we go, cute little block, cute boot, 10 inch and 12 inch, love them. Now we have to make some sashings and um, the sides are going to be two and a half inches by 10 inches. The top and bottom will be one and a half inches by 12 inches. This is for the 12 inch block.
since I was still experimenting with this, I cut those last borders just a little bit longer than I needed to, just to make sure they were going to fit nicely. And that's why you saw me trimming that off right there. Now if you wanted to make your blocks 12 and a half inches so that they would fit into your quilt as a 12 inch block, all you have to do is add a half an inch to the width of all of your sashings and then you should get a nice 12 and a half inch block. So there is my finished block and uh, I may have to tweak it a little bit. You may have to tweak yours a little bit as you go along, but it's a lot of fun and I think they turned out really cute. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.